Hey, what's going on everybody? In this video, I'm gonna show you how to integrate Batch Lead Stacker for the te texting platform into your real estate investing CRM by using Zapier. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you by using Flippilot as a CRM. That's our preferred um, CRM of choice for real estate investors. If you haven't checked it out, head to our YouTube channel. We got tons of videos about Flippilot. It's an awesome new CRM and it's made specifically for real estate investors. It's one of our favorites. And I can tell you after years of working with real estate agents, real estate investors, um, implementing their systems, flows, um, and just creating or creating a efficient system CRM that works specifically and, and smoothly for them. Uh, Flip Pilot has been our favorite. So check it out. You can head to our channel to learn more about that or click on the link to even try out one of the free trials. But again, I'm gonna show you how to just integrate um, by using Zapier. So that when you're texting and you're in the inbox texting and you have a hot lead, you can then zap that lead over to your CRM to then actually start the nurturing process. Now, this method can be the same method for integrating into any other CRM. It is going to be a little bit different for you Podio users. All you have is really to use is that Podio um, email to then plug and play in it. But if you're using any other CRM, you'd want to use it by creating a zap. So it's very easy. We'll come here to Zapier, go to make a zap, and then you'll need to find the batch lead stacker app. It is by invite. All it pretty much does is you just got to plug in and log in by your email and password that you would into your actual batch leads account. So then you can choose your trigger event. There's many options you can take. Obviously we can have it push over if right when the property becomes vacant. Um, this would be, you know, a pretty cool feature. Like if you're going to use maybe like ringless voicemails or print genie to send a postcard, we can have the system zap over a property every time it hits vacant to trigger a ringless voicemail or trigger a postcard. You could use batch lead stacker with those types of systems. And we'll probably create more videos on how to do that. Um, you can even zap over a property if it hits DNC. Um, you can do it if it's skip traced and there's an email available. So let's say you have MailChimp or AWeber or a different email platform. Um, you could probably every time a property skip trace and has an email, you can zap it over and it'll trigger an email to that to that property if you're into the cold email game. Of course, SMS message is, is, is sent to a lead. That's if a text is sent to somebody, you'll zap that contact to another platform if you like. Um, if a new vacant property is found, um, if a text lead is marked as follow up. So let's say if you really want to follow up with these types of leads in your own CRM, not into, not in the texting platform, again, you can have that lead be zapped over and then trigger a certain follow up campaign in your CRM. Uh, properties opted out. Um, if a text lead is marked, refer to a realtor. Again, you would have that zapped over into your CRM of choice. So like in Flip Pilot, I could create a follow-up campaign or just have it zapped into my pipeline. And I can create a pipeline that really is for my real estate agents to refer. Um, so let's go back to there. Oops, lost my spot, my hooks. Let's go back here. Let's see, property is opted out, um, refer to agent. What I'm gonna show you is really just how to, you know, text lead marked as hot. Obviously that's what you want zapped over into your CRM. And of course, whether the lead is warm, uh, if the property is skipped trace and there's a phone number available, and of course, if just a new property is added. So like, let's say you import a list of properties into Batch Lead Stacker, you can have a zap created from, those properties go from Batch Lead Stacker to I don't know, it could go to Print Genie to automate postcards. Every time you upload a, let's say your pre-foreclosure list, right when it's imported in a batch lead stacker, it then zaps over to Print Genie and then shoots off a bunch of postcards to that list you just imported. Or since Ringless Voicemail is not in batch leads yet, let's say you integrated batch leads to Drop Cowboy. Every time you upload a list of absentees into batch leads, it can then zap over to Drop Cowboy and start a campaign and do an RVM blast to all those people. So you can get really creative with all the different zaps. Again, it's just what exactly you want to do. But in this video, I'm just going to show you how to basically do it just to kind of zap over a hot lead into your CRM. So I would pick 
SMS lead marked as hot. And then continue. You would click your account, hit continue. And then I'm not going to test and review because I don't have any data quite yet. I'm just going through the motions for you. And then if you're using Flip Pilot, which I highly recommend you do, and if you haven't heard about Flip Pilot, again, check out our channel. Go check out that CRM. It's one of the best out there for real estate investors or wholesalers, small or big. It's it's really awesome. So pretty much with Flip Pilot, they don't have their own Zap. So you'd have to go webhook. And you'd probably have to do this with most CRMs. And then choose action event you do post. So no matter what CRM you're using, whether it's a real estate CRM, a marketing CRM, like active campaign, um, you would have it put as a post and then click continue. So the next one is customized post with flip pilot. You need to have a URL. So we would go back to flip pilot and I'll kind of just walk through the steps. We already have one set up right here, but flip pilot, you'd go create new, create new web hook. Let's just put Bachelor Stacker text campaign. It's a text campaign. Create in view. And then see, there's going to be this URL key right here. I would copy that, come back to Zapier, and then paste it right there. And then leave everything else alone, ignore it. And then you'd hit continue. And of course, if I had a data, it would pretty much show me the person's name. So obviously I don't have a campaign going, so there's nothing to pull over, but these are the exact steps you take. And of course you'd hit test and review and then push it over. So these are the exact steps you need to take. Uh, I'll kind of show you inside flip pilot, a completed web hook. So it will look just like this. We can see here, we got some leads pushed over. Got to make sure that the active status is turned on. And then, of course, if you're using Flip Pilot, once you have it connected and you do a test zap and it sends over a fake, you know, lead, you then map out the fields. So, of course, in the Batch Leads texting platform, you have first name, last name, uh, phone number one. It could be phone number two. Um, it would be obviously the property address, mailing address. Those would be pretty much the information that um, Flip Pilot will accept. And all you do is match the fields, just like you'd be matching fields into the importing section. You'd go, you know, email to contact email, leave first name to first name, last name, contact city, mailing city, mailing state, mailing street address, zip code, and then again, do it again, but the property address. And then, yeah, you can make custom fields, but I'm not going to get into that. And then you'd have to make sure that it is turned on to active status. And then you would essentially come up to top right and turn on your zap. So then that way, if you're using the texting platform and batch leads, every time you have a hot lead or a warm lead, um, you can literally, once it's clicked as a hot or warm lead, it will automatically be zapped over into your flip pilot account and literally show up right here in the first stage, first column of uh, pretty much the first column of your CRM. So that way um, you know that is a brand new lead. So if you have an acquisition manager or a partner that it would then trigger, notify them new lead. And then you can then put them in the correct automated follow-up sequences that you built in flip pilot. Of course, what you should be doing is picking up the phone and calling them and setting that appointment. So I hope that helps. If you have any questions about Zapier or integrating it into other CRM platforms, let me know what other CRM platforms that you're actually using. I'm curious to hear what everybody else is using aside from Podio um, and you know some of the main ones that are out there. So hit the like button, comment below what CRM you are using. And if you would like me to make any other tutorial videos about a specific CRM and how to integrate it with Batch Lead Stacker. So hopefully that is helpful. Again, the best way to you know, figure out the zap is just go in there and just look at the actions that you can take and be like, what actions do I want to use? What other platforms am I using? And where do I want this data to go? Do I want my new properties be zapped over to a ringless voicemail platform like Drop Cowboy, which is one we recommend, probably one of the best and cheapest and easiest to use um, ringless voicemail platforms out there, or have it a property zapped over 
to like print genie so that it automates a postcard to that property if it's a vacant property or again just having it integrated to your crm if you're using the badge lead stacker texting platform so again i also would like to hear what texting platforms you guys are using so comment below curious to see what you're using if you're using batch leads texting platform or if you're using like lead sherpa launch control we'd love to hear your thoughts so hopefully this is helpful and let me know if you have any questions Hey, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you got any value or you learned something new, go ahead and do me a favor and hit that like button. And then also there should be a subscribe button that pops up right here. You'll definitely wanna hit that button too because every single week we're always releasing new educational content, tutorials, um, up-to-date stuff to teach you more about real estate investing strategies, marketing, tech tools, softwares, integrations, and all that great stuff to help you scale your business. And then also there should be a couple more videos right here that you should definitely watch. I mean, they're already here. You might as well watch them. If you're, if you're in a playlist of ours, playlist right there, next video right there, definitely should check out more content that we have. And if you want to, you know, do a quick shout out or ask us a question, hit it in the comment section. We're always responding and replying to everybody. So see you in the next video.